What I found set up has worked pretty good is the 2220 propeller on the front and a 2222 prop on the back. And Hi Bob, thanks for having me. So today we're going to talk about the uh, Accuracy biplane here, which is manufactured by Oxai out of China. It's designed by multi-time world champion uh, Naruki, who's from Japan. So what's unique about this plane here is I have a Contra drive on it. So if you want to shoot in here, Bob, we can have a have a peek. So the Contra drive, essentially what it's doing is it's two propellers running in opposite directions. So there's a gearbox assembly in here, and these propellers then can they'll spin opposite to take out all the all the thrust effects from the model. So there's no right thrust in this plane. And so the, this is a version three drive from Brenner Sharp out of uh, the United States. And the motor is actually a prototype uh, Plettenberg motor, which I'm working with Plettenberg to develop uh, for this version three drive. Uh, it's running a Jetty speed control, spin 99, with a custom heat sink to, uh, from uh, Peter Hossi out of Germany to make it lightweight. It's running all Futaba radio gear with a 18MZ using Futaba S bus, BLS 173 SV servos on all four ailerons and both elevator halves, and a BLS 171 SV on the rudder. A R7003 S bus receiver for uh, for the control back to the 18MZ. I use a Thunder Power 5000 or 5400 batteries. So you can see uh, right here is the S-Bus terminal. So all six servos, or I guess seven servos, come into this point right here. So one for the upper pair of ailerons, one for the lower pair of ailerons, and one for the rudder and uh, elevator servos. Power box digi switch, running off of a Thunder Power 900 milliamp 2S receiver pack. And I run everything at 7.2 volts regulated through that digi switch. Just back to the Contra drive for a second. It's uh, what I found set up has worked pretty good is a 2220 propeller on the front and a 2222 prop on the back. And for me, it gives a little bit more speed and penetration throughout the flight, so I'm not trying to fight flying too slow uh, through wind or turbulent weather. Uh, the Accuracy is a pretty draggy airplane with a lot of uh, just natural braking on it, so this just helps to overcome that, that resistance of it flying. I understand that you had to take all of the thrust angle out of the cowl as well. That's right. So normally in this model, there's three and a half degrees of, of right thrust. So I've temporarily shimmed it back straight while I was testing it out just to make sure I was happy with it. I didn't want to commit to uh, cutting back the front of the airplane before I was 100% sure that I wanted to keep using it. So I've added five millimeters of, uh, of material on this side in order to take that thrust out. And I've just really trimmed it off with some red uh, sticky covering just to just to cover it up so I'm pretty ha very happy with it uh, I'll keep using it um, it's working excellent so I will eventually cut this back and, and move all this assembly back and remount it there is a new motor um, out Plettenberg's revised this motor uh, with additional cooling fans and a little bit of few design changes that I've requested so I've got that motor now and I have to go back through now and remount this and when I do that I'll I'll trim this all up and clean it up. So super happy with the Contra drive. It just it takes all the the work out of out of maintaining lines and, and, and rolls. It it really really helps to reduce the, the pilot workload. Constant speed is just amazing. You know, great upline thrust, lots of downline braking, very consistent, easy to fly, you know, at the right distance well within the box so it just it takes a lot of stuff uh, challenges out of flying that you normally have with a, a two-blade prop
Right. Awesome. So I see you've just taken a little bit of EPP there and helped uh, to try and improve the cooling situation a bit. Yeah, that's right. So normally uh, in a two blade system, especially with a Falcon spinners and propellers, uh, you have the, the turbo cool style where they've got the holes in the front and, and the back plates uh, got like a little fan on it. And even inside where the motor's mounted, it's a lot more exposed. With the Contra system, because of the gearbox, obviously, uh, you don't have that ability to bring air in. So all your air is coming in from the cheek cowls here and the chin cowl. And so I've ducked it up underneath and uh, tried to force as much cooling air over this motor as possible. Being a prototype motor, it certainly is running uh, hotter than I would have liked. So I added this aftermarket heat sink uh, as well, just to help aid the cooling. With the new uh, version of this motor, the heat sink's already built into the casing and uh, and there's more cooling inlets around the motor, so it, it, it should cool a lot better. And you know, hopefully when I get that installed here in the next couple weeks and, and give it a test, it'll, it'll verify that. Well, I'd just like to say thanks to Chad for giving us a walkthrough on his Contra drive system. And I hope you'll share my sentiments when I wish Chad and the rest of the Canadian team every success as they compete in the F3A World Championships in Switzerland. So thanks for watching guys, take care and bye bye for now.